I'm John Skinner, and this supports my online fluke fishing course at saltstrong.com skinner. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. All right, for the first time this year, I've got the four Johns back together. Uh, we're on uh, Doc's boat, and uh, we've got John Sweeney and John Alkius with us, and we are fishing in the Mattituck Madness Contest. And, uh, you know, this is not the kind of day that we would normally go out uh, to Montauk. Um, it's a windy day. The winds will be 15 to 20 miles an hour all day. But uh, it's the contest, um, you know, it's safe. It's just tough fishing conditions. Uh, Doc's got the first fish of the day on right now, and I've not even got my line in the water yet. And, come on. Okay, and don't get me nervous <laughs> now, Skinner. All right, all right. Sh everybody, come on, come on. Is that a seabed? No, it's not a seabed. It's definitely a fluke. What the hell is that? Oh, it is a, it's a ling, it's a ling, it's a cod, it's a cod. Come on, really? Yeah, you want. Yeah, codfish. Uh, an occasional cod is caught out here. Uh, I can tell you this is the first time ever in my life that I've seen a codfish while fluke fishing, though. All right, and you see the big orange thing there in the water. That's our drift sock, and that is a large drift sock. And even on this 30-foot boat, that is going to slow us down. In fact, I think if we don't have that sock this day, we're going to have a lot of trouble because that wind is really blowing. But the drift sock will knock the speed down, the wind component of the drift speed, and uh, allow us to fish. Uh, we're going to be fishing three to six ounce bucktails throughout the day. We don't have to go heavier, even though. We're in this wind, 85 feet of water. Uh, John Halkius has got a, a fish up in the bow. Still good. Come on, come on. Jeez. Oh yeah. my God. Way to go, John. Hey, nice fish. At least we have something now. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to say more about drift strategy uh, in a minute, but I want to point out that in this kind of rough water where we're kind of fighting the scope where we've got that wind blowing us uh, i'm down to 10 pound test berkeley x9 it's a very thin very smooth line so it will really cut the water i've got a five ounce bucktail on there and if you notice i i've got an exaggerated bouncing on that jig uh you know what to do the the rapid twitching is not going to get action on the jig you've really need to bounce it you need to make sure that you have periodic lifts in there the whole objective keep motion on that jig boy as a good hook set that fish is on there and uh this is a good example you know, it's coming up coming up it's off i don't lose too many lost that one but you know what hey these fish and i've seen this on the on the underwater video many times first of all that fish was hooked twice um, and I've dropped it, but you know what? Before I've even got back down to the bottom again, um, <laughs> that fish moved right over, grabbed Doc's line. Good, now you got a spot here. So in the background, you probably hear Doc mentioning the mark. Um, yeah, you know, we've got a GPS mark here, and both of those fish were caught uh, pretty close to that mark. And, um, yeah, and, and he's going to short drift that, and that's the thing to do. You know, when you establish where fish are, uh, you know, making long drifts just because you've got previous marks from another trip farther back or something, uh, no, you want to zero in where those fish are. Um, and, and really pound those spots, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, here is an unwanted fish. This is a dogfish shark that Doc just brought up, and, yeah, we're going to probably get, I don't know, eight or nine of those this trip. So, uh, yeah, we don't like to see those. And your codfish and uh, dogfish sharks, definitely a sign of some cooler water, and we've only got 58 degrees here. This is the... Um, near the end of June, and uh, wow, the waters are definitely running colder than usual. Okay. 
Yes. Okay. Not taking any chances. I mean, if it wasn't a contest, I, you know. Also, with this concrete. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say that if it wasn't a contest. But you're solo beaten anyway. I'll let you get in here, in the corner. Yeah, it's not, not getting us anything. Is it? Oh yeah, okay. No, it's not, but still not getting us anything. You don't know that. Yeah. We have suspicion today. Yeah, keep in mind there are three Calcutta. Holy shit, we can miss the wave that you came up behind us. Alright, alright John, I'm good. Thank you. It's almost like the same size as I know, it's like it's like a school of these out here. All right, in a few seconds, you're gonna see the drift sock going out. And one of the things we struggled with with this trip was getting that thing to open and deploy properly. Uh, with the smaller ones, they seem to just work. But when you've got one this large, it might take a little effort depending on the conditions to get that mouth open, get that thing full of water uh, so that it does its job. And you may even need to go up a little farther on each drift to make sure you've got that thing deployed uh, before you get over your hot spots. Then let it out. You know it's set. That's good. That should be good. John, alright. Yeah. Good. But we all flying. Yeah, that's true. Miles but it's hour. definitely a fluke. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Right? Just don't drop the sock on me. Can somebody get that out of the way? All right, let it go, let it go out, let it go out. Just let it go out. This is not going to be a contender. Okay. It'd just be good if it wasn't like, you know, right under me. Because, you know, we're flying and scope. Oh, shit. Can you go back? Yeah, yeah. Halkius, man, you in the net. Just always yeah. something. <laughs> it's yeah. it's Come on, it's my here. first opportunity of the year. And, oh, that's good. This isn't bad. Yeah. yeah. He just kicked them on purpose. I saw the whole thing. All right, orange gulp. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep that gulp in uh, recharge liquid when we go up to make a drift. Uh, and I've got it in a container there, but that's uh, not the first time I've um, messed that up somehow. So uh, I, I need to get a different jar for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Yes. Good, right? I'll land. Yeah. I got it. I'll get him. I'll get him. He's not a not a cow, but it's a you know I definitely need a net. Not a cow, but good fish, good fish. Are you a couple of cranks off the bottom so you don't get pulled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's getting low. Nice fish. It's the best one, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Sorry. It's always hard to say what the right color is, and usually what I do is put like a, a white one on the bottom, a red one on the top, or something. I, I'll, I'll go with two different colors, give them a choice. I gotta tell you, I am noticing in the ocean, certainly off of Montauk, uh, yeah, these orange gulps do seem to be out producing. So this time I've got two of them on. Uh, I can't say I've seen the same uh, preference in the bay but uh, or in Long Island Sound, but uh, man, they, they seem to work very well out here. All right, and uh, during this discussion about cup holders, I'm going to become a cup holder.
holders. There's three cup holders in a row. It's so no funny. Way. I swear to God. Right where you would want them up in the bow. It's no, cup holder, there's, there's cup, cup holder, holder cup, cup holder. holder. There, there's, there's eight on each side. Wow. So there's 16 in the tunnel. Oh. Thank you. You guys are freaking ass. What? Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, uh, it's a fluke. Yeah? Oh, yeah, it's and it's a fluke that I caught a fish, maybe. You want to hold this? Hold what? Oh, I've got okay. his beer, so. He's got the beer. Get the net. Lift up a little. Lift up a little. Hey, uh, this is coming up. It's, you know what? Don't get crazy. It's not a big fish, man. I think give you a fish. It's already up. Nah, maybe you don't need a net. I don't know. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. We're bringing it. We can cut like it. A, we can belly it. Yeah, it's Come like on. a 20 inch. What a great net job, Doc. Uh, well, you yeah. let it in, you know. So on this trip, you've been uh, seeing me use this purple reel. Uh, and, uh, yeah, well, between the, the last time you saw it and now, I lost that rig. Uh, there's a whole separate video on that because it's as sad as that is. It's rather entertaining. So, uh, all right, I'm uh, over to the other outfit now. Hey. No. Um, yes, I do need a net. I got it. I got it. I got it. Big net? Yeah. No one's Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, sir. He's not going to be a, a monster, but he's a good one. Yeah. I mean, this is your limit now. All your fish are nice today. What do you mean by that? That he, he really hasn't caught any smaller or or any of those dog fish. that I don't want to mention. Yeah, no, Thanks. That's true. Um, with that, I'm about to throw the drifts off the water. You guys still oh, use it work threes? Yeah, but I think four is better. And maybe when the drift sock kicks in, it, it will be okay. Um, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. But it's not big. Yeah, no net or anything. Yep, positive. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, not a bad fish. Yeah. But we'll let him shake off. We got enough. Yeah, and I don't think. I mean, that's not a competition, competitor fish. It's a nice one, but. Yeah, plus, we got to clean the ones we're not weighing. It's a good sign, though. You were lucky. Poor Rick, he would hate to see that. I think this is the first trip ever where my arm actually did get tired. <laughs> After doing this for what was like 10 hours, uh, I am really purposely trying to keep a lot of action on that jig. I'm really banging on it, but it's paying off. I'm getting fish. Good one. Good one. Hey, he's coming up faster now. Yeah, so it, it may not be that, that good, but sure, small, that's fine. I, it's not a small fish, but it's not a big it's fish. Not you know, again, I'm not used to this rod. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Oh boy. Here you go, Johnny. Come on, come on, Johnny. Yeah. Because that's uh, that's up there. With the other ones? I don't know. I think uh, it's smaller. Uh, okay. So much easier with this now. Yeah. Right. That's not competitive. I don't think so. Yeah. These are close, but I don't. I, I think I can let them go. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, it look, look good coming up, but uh. That's two people going in two minutes, Skinner. 
Orange? Yeah. So we're coming down towards the end of the trip here. Uh, we've had a lot of fish. We've got a lot of fish there, like around five and a half pounds, mm -hmm. maybe a little better. Just not getting that big one. Sweeney's uh, hooked up up in the bow, and uh, this is going to be another nice one. But boy, you know, we're really hoping that we can get something seven or eight pounds at least to uh, get to the scale. About a half hour after this, uh, we had basically called the trip. We, we were done. I was actually racking my rod when I heard Halkius's drag going. Oh my God! Hey, we got it! We got it! Set up, Johnny! Doc, set up! Come on, Johnny! Come on, Johnny! I saw that run. You want to pull the rope? That's just leave it. It's fine. Everything's fine. A lot of weight, but it was angry. I saw that. I heard the run. Yeah. yeah. I heard it feeling. Yeah, I didn't see it. But I didn't see it. Doc, set your line up. Hurry up. Hold on one second. I want to see the fish. It's another five minute extension. It's going to be another five pound fish, I think. No, I think so. You never know, man. Well, this guy's bigger. This is going to be the winner. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. No, no, don't I stop pulling him yet. It is. No, no, it's no, a no, tiny no. fish. Yeah, but look how it's hiding, right? Yeah. But it's not, no, no, I'm no, not no, wrong, right? No, no, bring oh, it, get it in. No, no, get, get it in, in it anyway. Skinner, you know, I didn't have anything on that jig. That's oh! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, I it's a, it's a nice one, but I don't think There's it's nothing on that jig. There was nothing on yeah. that jig, and he hit it. Yeah. I told Sweeney yeah. that when I brought it to Seabass, yeah. he took it, and I said, I'm not putting anything yeah. on it. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. I mean, wow. it's, a, it's a keeper, but it's, yeah, you know, not competitive. I'm gonna my God, when he made that run. No, no, the run, I, thought but that I, was I it. said it doesn't have a lot of weight, but uh, that run was crazy. Uh, it was. I thought that was it. So this contest went from 7.30 Friday night till noon on Sunday. Uh, going through Saturday, uh, going into Sunday morning, we were in the lead right across. Uh, we, we probably had first, second, and third at that point. Uh, 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 we did not fish Sunday. We f probably fished uh, 12 hours on Saturday. Uh, somebody went out on Sunday morning, got a pair of roughly six and three quarter pounders. That was first and second. However, at this point, we've got third place and the bigger money is in the Calcuttas and the person who had first and second were not uh, was not in the Calcuttas. So at this point, we've got a third place fish. Not even sure which one it is. Um, but because we, we had a bunch of that, were about five and a half. And um, so, yeah, we were in significant money, thousands of dollars, uh, third place at this point. And um, seven minutes before the weigh-in deadline, um, a boat rolled in from Montauk, uh, which was a 49-mile ride to here. This is Mattituck Inlet on the North Shore. And uh, he was racing at 50 miles an hour. He caught the fish right at the end of the trip. Raced in in a beautiful center console, just 50 miles an hour, pretty rough water. And uh, beat us by 14 ounces, so it was a, a decent margin. Uh, but only made it by seven minutes, knocked us into fourth. <laughs> we got the prize for the most fish, uh, just a few items, but uh, a little bit of recognition there. Hey, we had fun. We always have fun. So this was a great time. And uh, all right, if you uh, like these videos, please subscribe.